Hi guys and welcome back to another SITV video. In today's video I'm going to take a look ahead to this weekend's match away to Bologna. Games continue to come thick and fast for us with this match going to be our fifth in just a space of 14 days. The effect of so many games in quick succession has certainly kind of began to be seen certainly against Brescia. A lot of the players looked absolutely knackered out there and I mean the international break can't come quick enough for some of these guys. Despite our fitness levels and kind of the struggles a lot of the players went through, we showed just how good we are and how far we've come as we managed to secure the 2-1 victory away at Brescia. Personally speaking, I don't think an Inter team from years gone by would have managed this in such a state, so absolutely delighted that we managed to get that result on Tuesday. On to some team news then, starting with Saturday's host Bologna. Striker Federico Santander's condition is to be assessed. Uh, obviously it remains to be seen whether he will be past fit for this match. As per Bologna's assistant manager after their loss to Cagliari, they, they are expecting both Gary Medell and Mitchell Dykes to return to the group training. Whether they will play, obviously, much like Santander remains to be seen. In terms of Inter then, Stefano Sensi looks like he's going to make his much anticipated return to action. Reports in media stating that the club intend to give him kind of a wee bit, wee bit of time at the end of the game off the bench to prepare him for next week's midweek Champions League encounter with Borussia Dortmund. I'm absolutely delighted that Sensi is going to come back. He was excellent prior to his injury and I mean it's it's going to make such a difference certainly in the midfield where a lot of the players have been tired. In terms of who I think he'll replace kind of come the 60th, 70th minute I think it's definitely going to be Marcelo Brozovic. He looked absolutely dead against Brescias and certainly needs a rest. Moreover, it looks like both Matthias Vecino and Andrea Ranocchia will return to will return to the squad. Going by reports, Antonio Conte is intending on making two changes to the Inter lineup that started against Brescia. Those changes are two changes that aren't exactly the most surprising. Alessandro Bastoni and Cristiano Baraghi are due to come in, in place of Diego Godin and Quadua Samor, respectively. In terms of prediction, then I am fully expecting us to carry on our good run of form, despite kind of the fatigue that is certainly kicking in. Last season away to Bologna we were 3-0 victors and it would be great if we managed to replicate that scoreline, although I'm going to predict a 2-0 scoreline. Bologna aren't in the greatest run of form at the moment, they've only won one of their past five. That being said, they have been particularly hard to beat this season, have only lost one of their home games. We travel particularly well, we not only have the best record away from home in Italy but also in the top five European leagues. So fingers crossed we can keep that going. That's all for today's episode. Be sure to let us know down in the comments below what you're thinking ahead of the match. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video with those around you. Forza Inter.